All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make what I'm going to call like a fast, easy, lazy man's uh, beef stew in a crock pot. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time on my hands, <laughs> but I like beef stew. So what I've done is, you know, to have a family of four, um, we get a couple of packages of beef stew. So I have about two and a half pounds of uh, beef here, four beef stew. And I'm not going to put potatoes in this one, but what I did is I got the Alrida, two bags of Alrida mashed potatoes. These are actually pretty awesome. They're real potatoes. You can microwave them. Nice, fast, and easy. Um, I'm going to make this beef, this beef stew a little bit different in the sense that I'm going to throw like a red pepper in it. And I've got some of these small carrots in the bag. I don't have to cut carrots up. I can take them out of the bag, put them right in the beef stew. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm going to do two jars of gravy and this happens to be like the Heinz home style gravy so basically we're gonna take everything out of the package and I cut up this red pepper um, you can also add like celery to it I like celery and uh, beef stew other members of the family don't so I'm not adding it into this one but you can add a takeaway as much as you want um, the big thing with this is mashed potatoes in the bag gravy in a can you're dumping it all in it's not taking you that much time so i'm actually going to cut up this pepper and i'll spare you the the pain of watching that and i'll be right back all right so i have my red peppers all cut up and ready to go so if you notice the first thing i did is i threw one of the um slow cooker uh, liners in the crock pot to make for easy cleanup and so now all you need to do is add in your beef stew uh, meat. So we'll put the meat in first. And yes, I washed my hands. You can even make Julie Child noises if you want. Like, we add the meat into the beef stew. But don't start drinking when you're doing it. That's all yeah. <laughs> so you're so you gonna throw the meat in like that. Um, get one more package. And prep time on this is about five to seven minutes. Uh, it depends on how fast you can cut <laughs> a red pepper. Uh, in this house, it, it can take a while because there's so many interruptions. <laughs> all right, this is almost done. Let's see, it's gonna add all your beef stew meat in. Kind of like disperse it throughout. And this is actually a really good recipe. You try this one, you're gonna like it. That's a hard recipe not to like. All right, it doesn't matter what order you add this stuff in. Um, so now we're gonna add red peppers in. All right, so one of the other things I almost forgot is the most important thing. Uh, throw in the medium, medium onion too. And I just cut all this up. And now my eyes are watering. Yeah, and I didn't even cut it under water. <laughs> So break these apart, throw the pieces of onion in. Onions are awesome in beef, beef stew. Uh, really kind of tend to add to the flavor. Uh, sometimes these buggers can be a little bit of a pain to spread apart, but you can add in as much or as little onion as you want. Kind of lay the top. And now I can barely see. <sighs> All right. So after you put the onion in, he's done crying, <laughs> you can add your carrots. So we have um, the bag of baby carrots. These are already washed. They're small. Just going to put these on the top. And wink, you're done. I'm not even going to throw the whole bag in the sleep. That should be good. A couple more for good measure. Now, you get your meat, you get your pepper, you get your onions, you get your carrots. So, what comes next? That's the gravy. Alright, so we've got two jars of gravy here. Um, some people like to add one jar and a jar of water. Um, I like to add two jars of gravy. So, I like to make beef stew a little watery, but not really watery. So there's one jar. There's two jars. We'll 
basically, you're almost, you're almost home, you're almost there. This whole thing would take you, it should take you around the 10 minutes to do this whole thing. But, it's nice, and the reward is worth, worth the payoff. Here's your Worcestershire sauce, so, you can add like a teaspoon of this in. But, as you always say, ah, good cooks don't measure, just sprinkle it in there. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me to add a little flavor. And we're done. We're gonna throw on the lid and we're gonna set it to low. And this should take about, I don't know, six to seven hours depending on your slow cooker to cook. Uh, check it, you know, every, no, check it within like four hours and see how it looks. And uh, keep an eye on it from there. And when this is all done, I'll be back. All right, so here it is about six hours later and our beef stew is done. So what we did is we whipped up some mashed potatoes and you can just kind of pour it in the bowl. Mix the mashed potatoes and since it's gravy, why not? You can put some gravy right on there and this makes for a great meal. So I hope you enjoy this uh, Lazy Man's Beef Stew and please subscribe to our channel.